guys, welcome to Open Source Outlaw. Um, today I'm going to show you what to do when a ROM does not install properly. Now I actually just tried to make a video a few minutes ago on Omni ROM, um, uh, which is based on KitKat 4.4.4, and during the installation process um, it stopped installing, or it wouldn't install. So I just kind of want to show it what to do when that happens. Um, so here we're going to start right from the beginning. Um, we're going to hit the volume up and the power and hold it down until you go to recovery. Alternatively, if you're using a ROM that provides recovery when you hit the power button, you can do that too. Now we're letting go of the volume up and power when we see the logo. And that's going to boot us right into recovery. So the important thing here, guys, is is that you always want to do a backup. I stress that all the time, and it was hugely helpful that I had done a backup when I tried to do this video review, so I had something to fall back on when this Omni Roam file did not install. Um, so again, guys, you always want to go to backup. You want to click all four boxes and make sure you're going to your uh, external SD card. You just click that box there, and then the middle option is usually your external SD card. I've already done a backup. So I'm not going to go through that, but let's go home and we're going to wipe just like you would when you're going to start to install a ROM. So I'm going to do this process to show you in full um, what to do when it fails. So I'm wiping everything. Well, to say I'm wiping everything is incorrect. I'm, wipe I'm ticking all the boxes except external SD card. You don't want to wipe your external SD card because that's where you're st storing your backups and your ROMs. Okay, now that's finished, I'm going home, I'm going to install, um, and make sure I'm on my external SD card, okay, and I'll find the ROM, and swipe to install. Now as you can see, now I'm installing, um, usually you'd immediately see the blue bar start moving across the screen and we're not seeing that. For whatever reason, this ROM uh, was it compiled incorrectly or possibly when I tried to download the ROM from XDA, um, the ROM never finished entirely downloading. And that happens sometimes, guys. Like when you're installing, uh, trying to download a ROM from XDA or wherever, some, and if you're doing it from a laptop or whatever, um, sometimes the download will fail and you won't notice or it won't complete all the way for whatever reason. Who knows what it is, but sometimes it does happen. I've run into this a couple times. Um, and he, this could be the case with this ROM here, or it's just that it was um, compiled incorrectly and someone needs to let the know. Uh, let the developer know on that form that this ROM is um, not installing properly. So wh what you want to do is when it's not installing like this, the only thing you really can do to get out of this is you want to hold your volume up and power like you would to go into recovery. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to hold these, hold the volume up and power until the screen goes off. Wait till I see the logo. Let go of those buttons and boot into recovery. And then what you want to do once you're in the recovery is you just want to do a full wipe before you reinstate, uh, reinstall your backup. So we'll just wait for this recovery to boot in. And you want to go to wipe. And advanced wipe, like I said, tick every box except the last one, which is your external SD card. You don't want to wipe the external SD card. Swipe to wipe. And sometimes you're going to see this unable to mount system. Don't worry about that. It's not going to matter when you're restoring from the backup. So we're going to, the wipe is uh, successful. So we're going to go back and we're going to go to restore and go to your external SD card. Okay. Find your, whatever backup you want to go for. I want to go for the last one I did and swipe to restore. Now I'm not going to make you guys sit through this entire restore process, it's going to take a little while. It's actually pretty, it's quicker to restore your tablet than it is to back up, but um, I just wanted to show you guys um, how to fix that particular problem. I've never seen a video covering that before and it happened by chance this time as I was trying to make that tutorial video and thought it would be a good idea to, to um, uh, cut, do a video on that problem so I just did the process over again and, and had it fail again just so you guys could see what to do to correct that issue. 
Uh, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, please like the video and um, also please subscribe to my channel.